Today I am going to show you how to perform basic search and structure search queries in Fortisim. After you log in, here is the dashboard. Now I am going to click on the analytics tab. In the event keyword section, I am entering FGT, Boolean operator and, and TCP. Apply run. Let's see what happens. We can see here that the results are related to FortiGate. If we come down on the right hand side, I am opening up the raw logs. We can see here that the results satisfy both FortiGate and TCP. Please make sure you specify the correct boolean operator according to your needs. Now I am going to show you how to perform structured search query. In the event attribute section, I am going to select event type and use in operator. For the value field, I am going to look at the cmdb and select permit. If you notice, Fortisim has 536 inbuilt event types available. You can also create your own. Let's click and apply and see what happens. Now you can see all the four different event types that are permitted. Now I am going to add another filter to our existing query. I want to see the event types only for the firewall. In the attribute section, I am going to add the reporting IP, which is the source device. I am going to use the same operator and in the value field, going to look at the CMDB again and select only firewall as a group. Let's apply and see what happens. Now it brought up all the event types only for the firewalls. You can notice the event types includes other vendors. Now I want to get more specific and search for only FortiGate firewalls. In the attributes section, I am going to add reporting vendor for attributes. In the operator section, I am going to select equal to. Finally, in the value section, typing the word as Fortinet. Let's apply and see what happens. Now you can see all the event types only related to FortiGate firewalls. Next I will show you how to group by fields with my existing filter condition. I am going to click the display field button. Then I am going to click load which brings up the preset display fields. Also going to add event type and destination port numbers to the display field. Let's apply the changes. Now you can see the report comes up with how many times the source IP and destination IP communicated over the specific destination ports.